Hi everyone, it's me again, and today I'm gonna do um, another video. Wait, let me move that camera a little bit. Like this. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you um, how to draw Elsa from Frozen. So it's actually easy. Well, I'm I don't want to say easy, but it's actually simple to draw Elsa. So first step you want to start off with is the basic circle. So just throw it in just draw a basic circle okay so there you draw just a basic circle nothing too complicated okay it's actually pretty good if you just like try drawing circles on the on the side and then draw a bigger one there then for a second step you want to draw the the lower part of the part of the head so the cheek with the chin and the jawline okay so just like that then you want to throw in the basic guidelines like this and a second one right here okay so once you have the basic guidelines all you want to do now uh, I like drawing the hair first to know where uh, how much space I have for the eyes and everything so I'm gonna draw the hair first so like this like that I'm actually drawing the guidelines for you guys because as you may have seen in my time-lapse video because this isn't the only version for this video I also have the time-lapse video I did not draw the guidelines so it's actually better to draw the guidelines but sometimes I prefer not to because it's just a personal preference nothing complicated okay so after once you've drawn that you want to draw her famous hairstyle the little thing sticking out there and the basic hair coming down okay same thing over here just like that okay then uh, I like drawing the ear too so the ear is actually very simple all you want to do is just draw like a J just like that then you add in the ear. So I like drawing an S, a line, and a little, like, a C that's flipped down. Okay? So that's it for now for the hair. Uh, now we're going to draw, we're start drawing the face. So first thing you want to do, you want to draw the eyes. So for the eyes, it's actually pretty simple. Because all you want to do, you want to like draw that squarish shape it's more rounded on the right lower side well my right lower side it's actually rounded and pointy uh, then you want to draw the same thing on the other side except that on this side Uh, oops, mistake. You want to finish, you actually want to finish on the edge of the head. Okay? Just like that. There. I have a feeling I've done a little mistake over here. Let me make that a little smaller. There, it looks better now. Okay. So once you've drawn that, you want to add in the eyes, the pupils. 
Is that how you call them? Pupils? Pretty sure. Okay. Okay. Then you want to add this curvy shape in. It's uh, pretty good. Like, it's a decent curvy shape. I actually keep those curvy shapes because after when I do the makeup, I like having that curvy shape in to help me indicate where the makeup's going to start. Okay? Then you want to dry up the out eyebrows. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Eyebrow number one. And eyebrow number two. Okay. Then you want to draw a little nose shape up there. You don't want to follow the whole nose shape all the way down to the nose. You just want to keep a small nose shape up there. Then for the nose, it's actually very simple. All you want to draw here is that. I don't know. It's like a, a five, but very curvy. Uh, then a sort of two. Coming up with a C flipped over and last a C flipped backwards. Okay, so it's a lot of explanations right there. So that's basically how you'd want to draw the nose. Then um, third for the face, the mouth. So for the mouth, it's actually a curvy line, okay? Uh, with I'm gonna add this in like that. And for the lips, very easy. Just basically draw them in as um, parenthesis. Parenthesis. Okay. Uh, now you've drawn the face, you wanna draw the hair. So for the hair, you wanna add this in. So, these are the, um, uh, how do you call them? I forgot. But what I consider you do is just draw like a line where you want the thing to go, okay? How do you call it? Please tell me in the commentaries. I forgot. So, just draw a curvy line how you want it. To where you want it to be and where you want it to end and after all you basically do is just curve one here curve one there curve one here curve one there curve one here curve one there one here one there one here and that's basically it then you want to draw and really make a difference between the curves because That'll make it look like it's really those, um, I forget how you call it, but you'll really see the difference between the, the, the um, sorry, I really don't know how you call this, uh, please tell me in the commentaries, I completely forgot, it'll really give the difference. So, after you want to draw a little thingy right there, a little ribbon she has in her hair. Quickly draw in the last part of the hair, just like that. Okay, so now you've drawn the all the hair, the face. All you need to draw now is the neck. So the neck is actually easy. You just start here behind the chin. Draw a curvy line, not too long. Uh, draw a straight line like this. Then an inward curvy line, but just a little curvy, not too curvy, but not straight either. And that here, that there, same thing here, curvy line again, and a little curvy inwards. Okay, so that's basically how you draw um, Elsa from Frozen. So that's only the pencil. Now I'm going to take my Micron O2 pen. So the Micron O2 pen is really good to me. I really like that pen. So um, now you're just going to simply draw the contour. 
of everything um, you've done, okay? Okay, so I've dropped in uh, all the um, all the pen. So now I stopped um, so I could show you what we're going to add in with the pen. So what's going to be different? So basically now what we're going to do, we're going to draw in the um eyeshadow just like that. Then you also want to add in the shape of her eye. Oops. Just like that. Then, once you've drawn that, you want to draw the uh, eyelashes. So for the eyelashes, it's actually very simple. You just want to draw quick strands like that. Okay, so same thing on that side, just like that. Okay, so once you've drawn this, uh, you're basically it. It's basically it with this video. Um, I'm probably gonna do like a how to color um, Elsa from Frozen. I don't know if this video is going to be coming out today or tomorrow. If it's going out tomorrow, the how to color also from Frozen will be posted tomorrow. In any case, it'll be posted tomorrow, how to color it and everything. So stay tuned for the next one. Also, let's not forget to um, take the eraser. Let me reach for it right there. So just take your eraser and now just wait for it to dry just two minutes and uh, then we'll you can blow on it and then we'll uh, we will erase the whole thing because the thing is if um, you start erasing and the ink isn't dry it'll smudge it and it won't look nice so really make sure that everything's dry Okay, so I think it should be ready now. I'll start erasing. There. So you're basically done with it. Just let me get something real quick. Okay, so now you're basically done. I've bought this on internet. Um, usually the people who draw mangas use this in Japan to get all that uh, dust off. You know, it's all ugly and if you take it off with the hand there's still some left so really to make it official just use that and it erases it takes the whole thing off really well uh, you can also use it uh, no.
There. So you just finished drawing Elsa from Frozen. Um, don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Um, leave some comments. Uh, um, ask for some other drawings I'll try to do for some other tutorials, other time lapses. Always stay tuned for the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends, which would make me really happy. And uh, I'll see all you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.